Well, it was early February and I was chewing up the bit to get out and scout one of my fellow properties in South East South Australia. Um, as soon as I got over there, I headed straight to our normal campsite and proceeded to set up camp. Just had the bare essentials because it's only going to be an overnight stay. Um, once I had camp set up and a bit of wood, a bit of wood ready for the fire at night, I headed down to check a trail camera that I have had set up for the last month or so. Um, I've also got a tree stand set up watching over that, so plan A for the night was going to be sit up that, but it turned out there wasn't a lot of deer activity on the trail camera, so I ended up changing my mind and headed over to a bit of farmland that bordered on some pretty thick bush. The main aim for the trip was to fill the freezer, so I'll probably head there for the evening hunt. Well, I've just arrived at my spot. Um, the wind's in a pretty good spot at the moment, so fingers crossed it stays that way. Usually it does when you're bow hunting, but I'm just going to head up through in the direction just behind the camera and just sneak along pretty quietly. It's really dry on the foot here, so it's going to take me time and do a lot of glass in there. See how we go, so stay tuned. Well, I headed out and hunted along the edge of the paddocks for the evening hunt. Unfortunately, I only ran into a few spikies and a couple of young stags. Um, so I headed back to camp, ready for an early night's sleep. And the plan for the morning was to head down onto a swamp and hopefully catch up with a black buck that I seen last year. So I'll let you join in there. I just had a pretty close encounter with a probably a 190, 200 class man or fellow buck. I um, just left the paddocks, I was heading down into the swamp. I spotted him feeding across the eastern side of it. I put my eyes up, I thought oh, he's not, not too bad. But it's big as my best one, so I cut around to get wind of him and um, snuck in and I spotted him out to the right hand side. He was standing in some standing in the swamp and some thick tea tree and I got down hands and knees and at that stage it was only 35 metres away and um, wind was perfect I was just getting the camera set up and all of a sudden he just trotted off I could have <clears throat> probably could have taken a shot when he stood up could have just made a doe call but it's 35 metres and it's a fairly windy sort of day and I didn't want to risk it on such a nice animal so but the morning's still young, so I'll just keep sneaking up through. The wind's perfect, like it hasn't changed one bit, so fingers crossed we'll get onto something.
I just smoke that beautiful metal fallow buck. What a rush. Um, I caught up to him again after seeing him on the swamp this morning. And um, yeah, he was better down facing towards me. I was just caught out in a shocking position, like there's no cover at all. But I'll give it a go anyway. I had a one black tree 45 metres out from him, and I got him behind that, and I slowly belly crawled in and got to there. I thought I'd have to cover the range for about 30 plus, like no more than 30 metres, because it's pretty windy. So I um, took the camera up and um, proceeded to belly crawl in, and the cover that I had just took me closer and closer and closer, and the wind stayed just true the whole time. And I ended up being 18 metres away from him as he's better down. And um, I knew where he was better. He stood up as a tree cover and his vital, so I thought I'll take the shot while he's laying down. And um, there's a little opening into the front of his chest, and yeah, settled the pins, top pin, 20 metres, and punched it down through him. So he ran about 50 metres, probably about 50 metres, sorry, and uh, pulled up a couple of flicks of the tail and he's laid down. So just to be 100% sure, I'm just going to give him a little bit of time and. Um, in the meantime, I go find my hat, which I took off somewhere because it kept off my head while I was stalking in. But yeah, I'm pumped. It's, ah, it's awesome. It's a great way to start off the year. Couldn't think of a better way. I'm going to save that 190. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful head, so I'm, I'm wrapped. So this is where it's bedded up. going straight down through his chest and out through his tummy you see the bit of green grass on it but he's um piled up 50 metres away so must have done the job anyway. The old northern broadhead she's still sharp so oh what a buck Absolutely beautiful. Couldn't have asked for a better way to start 2015. Absolutely beautiful cape on it. Only other bow hunters can understand the feeling you get when you manage to take a beautiful representative animal like this. You get people ask you from the non-hunting community, why do you hunt? It's just a, it's just, it's an addiction. Every time you down an animal, you always feel sorry for it, but it's in our blood. And the rush you get after finally accomplishing something that it took me it took me three years to get my first year with a bow. And then after that, finally got my first buck in 2013. And last year I managed to get four. And all those hard yards you do and many kilometres and missed opportunities and it all something like this makes up for it so he's no monster but I'm over the moon with him still in velvet he's just starting to strip out here so he's really tipped out so he's going to mount up beautiful and the skin is just exceptional let alone the meat well this is where he came to rest. Um, I only give him about five minutes because I was pretty confident in the shot. Went in through about here on the other side and it's come out right here, so it's quartered through, taking out his left lung. But yeah, like I said, I only give him five minutes and when I come up to him, he's still, still having a couple of kicks, so I thought I'd end it quicker. And I put one just straight through his heart there and he was out in about 10 seconds. So yeah, I'm stoked. He's a bloody beautiful animal. Anyway, better stop filming and get a few good photos and then cape him out. Take all this meat before the flies swarm on him. They're already coming. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. So stay tuned for more dead calm films.